blood bound. The Vampire's Curse. The old house on Blackwood Lane had always been shrouded in an eerie stillness that made the hairs on the back of my neck prickle. It had been empty for years, a relic of a bygone era, its windows like vacant eyes staring out at the world. But tonight, a faint, unnatural glow emanated from its depths, drawing me in like a moth to a flame. Curiosity gnawed at me, fueled by whispered tales of the house's dark history. They said it was where a vampire family had once resided, their thirst for blood leaving a trail of tragedy in its wake. I scoffed at the stories, dismissing them as nothing more than local folklore. Yet the pull of the unknown was too strong to resist. Stepping onto the cracked porch, I felt a sudden chill, a breeze that wasn't there moments ago. The air smelled metallic, faintly sweet, like the scent of blood. My heart hammered against my ribs, but I pushed the fear aside. I had to see, to know. The front door creaked open, revealing a dark, dusty hallway. I fumbled for my flashlight, the beam cutting through the suffocating gloom. The air grew thicker, heavy with an oppressive silence. I could almost feel eyes watching me from the shadows, waiting. I ventured deeper into the house, the floorboards groaning beneath my feet. Dust motes danced in the beam of my light, revealing faded tapestries and cracked portraits that seemed to leer at me. The air grew colder, prickling my skin. I felt a presence, something unseen and unwelcoming. Then I saw it. A figure, silhouetted against the faint moonlight streaming through a broken window. It was tall and slender, its form shrouded in darkness. Its eyes, two brilliant crimson points, glinted in the gloom. I froze, the blood draining from my face as a low, guttural growl reverberated through the house. I wanted to run, to escape, but my feet felt rooted to the spot. The creature moved, its form shifting closer, the growl changing to a hiss, sharp and menacing. I could feel the cold air radiating from it, a chilling aura that sent shivers down my spine. The figure stepped into the light, revealing its true form. Pale skin, sharp teeth, and eyes that seemed to hold the darkness of the night itself. The vampire. It bared its fangs, the sharp points glinting like daggers. You should have stayed away, it whispered, its voice a raspy rasp. You shouldn't have disturbed our slumber. My mind screamed, my body trembled, but I couldn't move. I was trapped, frozen by fear, staring into the abyss of the vampire's crimson eyes. I knew then with a cold certainty that the whispers of the past were not merely stories. The house on Blackwood Lane held a darkness far more sinister, a legacy of blood and terror that lived on in the heart of the night. Thank you for diving into the spine-chilling mysteries with Chills Unveiled. If you've enjoyed the eerie tales and creepy narratives, that send shivers down your spine. Make sure to subscribe to our channel for more hair-raising content. Hit that notification bell so you never miss an unveiling of the unknown. Join the community of thrill seekers and let the darkness unfold. Subscribe now and let the nightmares continue.